shot out of a silent cannon. Radical rides, cutthroat competition, and outside of the box technology. We may be running out of gas, but we're not running out of fuel. I'm Jonathan Levitt, and I'm on a quest for the leanest, meanest, and greenest wheels. The time's come to go green, but that doesn't mean we have to garage our cars forever. I'm teaming up with expert consumer advocate Charlie Vogelheim from JDPower.com to check out the coolest alternative fuel options on the road. Charlie, we look back at all this Los Angeles traffic, and if you look closely, you can actually see the emissions going into the atmosphere. It's awful. But hopefully all of this will change someday. Right now, we are on the forefront of a green revolution. We certainly are. With a combination of the emissions, we're all talking about global warming now, certainly in the news. And with the escalating prices at the gas pump, people are asking, is there an alternative? And if there is, I want to learn about it. Today, we're pushing the limits of electric-powered speed. I'm teaming up with the KiloCycle crew as they attempt to break the record and become the quickest electric vehicle on the planet. Gentlemen, charge your batteries. Here we go. The bike is live. Okay. And let's get the body on it. This team of tech geeks is breaking new ground with the KiloCycle, a battery-powered monster racing bike on a mission. The important thing about electric drag racing, first off, it's fun. It's big kids' toys, you know. But another real important issue here is to prove to people, and to industry even, that electric vehicles do not have to be nerd mobiles. Here we go! I'm gonna do it! Ah! The Killa Cycle already holds the world record for fastest electric motorcycle, but there's another record out there that's begging to be broken. These guys are looking to take the record for fastest electric vehicle of any kind to race the quarter mile. I caught up with the KiloCycle crew as they prepped their masterpiece motorcycle for the big event. I am here with Bill Dubay, the owner and crew chief of the KiloCycle. And this is the world's fastest electric motorcycle, right? That's correct. We're the quickest and the fastest in the quarter mile. Wow. Bill Dubay is a man obsessed. By day, he works as a research scientist. But the rest of his waking hours are spent in his garage making electric vehicle magic. We always evolve. The bike rarely races twice identically. Our goal is to set new records, is to push it. And every time we race, we learn something new. So we change things every time. This time, we've changed a number of things. Each and every piece of this 619 pound bike was custom made by a KiloCycle team member. And Bill's the first to acknowledge that their success is truly a team effort. There's a lot more to this bike than just me and the bike. People think, oh, you just turn the key and well, let's go drive. Oh, it's like launching a boat. There's a team of people. It's an enormous effort. Bill and electronics technician Derek Barger have even found a way for me to help out. Hey, come on, John. I'm Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're in your keep here. Come on, grab All right. at the end of this thing. Okay. No it's problem. heavy. How's your back? <clears throat> oh my all right, yeah. <laughs> it weighs about 180 pounds. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Whew. So tell me about how this thing really works. You know, it's just like a giant cordless drill with wheels. Here, let me get a cordless drill. All right. I mean, with a cordless drill, what do you have? You have a battery, right? Yeah. All right. You got a battery. You got a motor, and you have a throttle. Yeah. Right. Work the thing, right? So that's all this thing is. You've got the battery, which you've just gone over, right? right? Look at the battery. We have the motors, which are underneath here, okay? Right? And we have the throttle, which is right back there. Right there. And that's it. I mean, it's it. It can't be simpler than that. So I'm just basically but, riding a big drill. Yeah. Except this is a 350 horsepower drill. <laughs> it's, <laughs> right? it's got a little bit more. Oomph. Yeah, just a little bit more oomph. That's four times as much horsepower as the average street bike. Put this in terms that I can understand coming out of the car that I might drive today. So, amps times volts equals watts. Watts can be changed into horsepower. Watts are horsepower. 746 watts equals one horsepower. This is an important safety warning for everybody here. When we, we have the covers off of this whole thing, and we hook up the battery pack, 375 volts, 380 volts at the moment, all over everything. So no touching with fingers, careful with tools. Mm, serious Jeez. business. See, these are all exposed contacts here. With the cut, with the body off the bike, 
It's just like having an open fuse panel. Wow, this battery pack's no joke. Did I mention that the last time the team raced, the motor shot out flames of plasma? Here, we could be blowing these up before. We've smoked this one pretty badly. But don't worry, they think they've worked out the kinks. Wow, I mean, this thing is, how many batteries are in here? 990. 990 batteries of little, these little guys, right? That's right. They all look right like that. Oh, that's, the, that's, the, that's it right there? That's an individual cell right there. For the all Harley meet, the team's built a battery pack with a new battery management system and a hundred additional lithium-ion battery cells. This is like an aluminum plant substation. You know, I mean, this is a huge amount of power. This is a lot of power. This is a lot of power. You know, I love to use the Slurpee analogy when I'm talking about batteries. What you do is you imagine a Slurpee. The amount of juice in the cup is the specific energy. And the size of the straw is the power. All right? So how hard you pull on this thing is how, much, how big that straw is. This has a straw bigger than the cup. These are huge. It's just a huge amount of specific energy. Power, just like a Slurpee. You pull on the straw really hard, right, when it's cold, and you can only get so much and then you suck air, right? right? You get a big drop like that and then, oh, you get air. Well, if you warm up the Slurpee more, you'll pull a bigger shot out of it and easier, right, the hotter the Slurpee sure. is. So what is it about these specific lithium-ion batteries that Bill swears by? These will not catch on fire. That's the difference in their technology. There's a bunch of differences. These are developed at MIT, like I say, this technology was. And these guys made it into reality, the A123 people. But you can drive a nail through this cell, and just a little steam will come out. But it's still lithium ion. It's a lithium ion iron phosphate cell. And there's also a nanotechnology. They developed the little particles. They've got all these things going for them. These things will take these unbelievably high temperatures that other lithium ion batteries won't take. Yeah, and we so we heat them through. up, just like the Slurpee. You heat up the Slurpee, you can get this big suck out of it. And that's what we do when we go down the drag strip. We pull the maximum suck out of this giant Slurpee. Basically, this new battery technology kicks butt. Not only are these M1 battery cells from A123 systems among the most powerful lithium ion batteries on the market, they take only five minutes to recharge. So what I want to know is, why isn't everyone talking about them? I hear over and over again, the reason we don't have electric cars, the battery technology doesn't exist. The battery technology doesn't exist. You're telling me the battery technology exists. Here it is, right there. It exists right now. It's new, but it does. It exists right now. This is the holy grail of batteries. It's a perfect thing for your hybrid car. Pricey at the moment, but there's nothing inherently pricey about them. What's the cost of one cell? They're about thirteen dollars at the moment. Thirteen bucks. So they're for one a little cell. pricey at the moment. It'll come down, but right now they're brand new. So you got about thirteen grand going on here. Right? Yeah, yeah, at the moment. So is this going to be in my car in two years? Oh, uh, you could have one in your car right now if you wanted for your ICE car to start it. What is that, that? That'll start your electric. That'll start your car. That'll start your. That's that's a big enough battery of these cells inside there. Oh, you've got you, these cells are in there. Yeah, there's eight of these in there. Eight, eight, there's, that's all it takes. That's all it takes to start your start car. your car. Are you kidding me? This is a drop-in replacement for your lead-acid battery. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can I almost put that in your pocket, can't you? Do you have a lead-acid around here? Yeah, yeah. sure. Back yeah. here. Yeah. Well, oh, can you lift that? <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Come on. Careful. So that, be... that's, a, that's my lead-acid battery that I use to start my car. And now. this replaces it. Come on! <laughs> These things last 10,000 cycles to 50% capacity. Hold on, a cycle is full drain? Full drain. Drain it all the way down and charge it all flat. Drain it all the way down and then fill it back up again. I mean, just to start my car wouldn't be a cycle. No, that's good. Oh, no. You'd, you'd no, never no, buy no. another one. Unless you did something real bad. Like, you know, left the lights on for a year. <laughs> <laughs>